Many star systems consist not of just one star, but of two or more. For instance, Alpha Centauri, the nearest star system to us, has three stars, and many well-known stars in the night sky, such as Polaris, the Pole Star, Sirius, and Capella, also contain more than one star. The star system known as New Scorpii is thought to have no fewer than seven components. In contrast, our own sun seems to be solitary. But might it actually have a companion star that's yet to be discovered? In Earth's history, there have been various major and minor extinction events. In 1984, paleontologists David Raup and Jack Sepkoski published a paper. They examined the last 250 million years and claimed that mass extinction events occur around every 26 million years. In 2010, Adrian Mellet and Richard Bambach re-evaluated Raup and Sepkoski's work. They examined the last 500 million years, and they found that extinction events had a 27 million year periodicity. In 2013, Mellet and Bambach repeated their work, and the result was the same. After the Raup and Sepkoski paper, some astronomers started to speculate that the Sun might have a companion which could explain the periodic occurrence of extinction events. According to these claims, there might be a star orbiting the Sun about one and a half light years away beyond the region known as the Oort Cloud. The theory was that this star approached the Oort Cloud every 26 to 36 million years, causing some of the icy rocky objects in the cloud to be deflected towards the inner solar system. If one or more of these objects hit our planet, it could be responsible for an extinction event. This hypothetical star, which periodically might cause death and destruction on Earth, was named Nemesis, which means arch enemy. Some researchers pointed to a remote body in the solar system called Sedna as evidence of the existence of Nemesis, Sedna is what's known as a trans-Neptunian object. Its orbit is very large and very elliptical. Its unusually stretched out orbit might be the result, it's been suggested, of the gravitational influence of a large undiscovered planet, or Nemesis. Astronomers began searching for signs of Nemesis, the Death Star as the popular press described it. In the 1980s, the infrared astronomical satellite found no traces of it. Between 1997 and 2001, the 2 micron All Sky Survey came up empty-handed. And in 2011, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, WISE, also failed to find any signs of Nemesis. All attempts to find Nemesis have failed. It's been suggested that Nemesis might be a red dwarf or a brown dwarf and therefore difficult to detect. But WISE can detect brown dwarfs as cool as 150 degrees Kelvin out to a distance of 10 light years. So it should have been able to spot Nemesis if it exists. To avoid significantly affecting the orbits of the known planets and to avoid observation, Nemesis would need to have a very large orbit, which would tend to be unstable because of the gravitational effect of passing stars. If it had an orbit that was always changing, it wouldn't be able to cause a periodic effect on objects in the Oort cloud. After these developments, NASA made a statement about Nemesis, in which it said, Recent scientific analysis no longer supports the idea that extinctions on Earth happen at regular repeating intervals, and thus the nemesis hypothesis is no longer needed. So we stopped looking for nemesis. But in 2017, a new study suggested that nearly all stars like the Sun were born with companions. If the Sun did once have a companion, it must have broken free a long time ago and now be wandering the galaxy alone. Not an evil relative, but a long-lost sibling.